Hi everyone, so today I want to talk about you and more importantly who you want to be as a person and I think this is a really really powerful topic because I don't think many people actually take the time to get clear about who they want to be. So as a law of attraction practitioner, I am often saying to people, you know, get clear about what you want. Clarity is your first step in attracting the things that you want into your life, okay? So the three law of attraction steps are clarity, raise your vibrations, and allow. So often when we talk about clarity, we're focusing on things or experiences that we want to attract into our life. But today what I want you to do is to focus on you. So for those of you who don't know me, I am Wendy Tomlinson. I'm a Law of Attraction practitioner and my aim with these videos here on YouTube are to help you to create a life that you absolutely love. So on this channel, I focus on creating your ideal life, creating your ideal business. Today, this topic covers all areas of your life, whether you're a boss and um, you're thinking about who you want to be as a boss, whether you're a parent or whoever you are, you know, whatever role, different roles, we take different roles in our life. So think about all those different areas. But I want to start off with a story um, about me in particular, because I think this is something that I really want to share with you because I think it will help you to understand where I'm coming from. So quite a few years ago now, I was not in a place where I wanted to be. I had just lost my dad, my dad had just died and it was it was a few months later and I stood in front of my bathroom mirror and I cried and, but the tears were not grief that, of, for my dad dying, I, you know, I'd already sort of had all those tears. The tears were for me. And my dad was the kind of person that he really was never that bothered about. He didn't care what weird career moves that I made or, you know, he, he, he didn't care what I was doing as long as I was happy and as long as I was following my dreams and living the life that I wanted for myself. That made him happy. And so on this day I stood there and I remember thinking, I don't know who you are and I don't like you. And that wasn't a good place for me, but it was a turning point. Okay, so if that's where you're at right now, you know, I'm sending you such a big hug and just know that this is going to be a turning point for you too. So... I want you to get super, super clear because in that moment, you know, I wasn't some awful person. I wasn't, you know, doing anything awful with my life or anything like that. But I certainly wasn't being true to myself. I certainly wasn't living the life that I wanted. I, I went to bed at night and I wasn't happy with the person that I was at that time. You know, I didn't, I wasn't an awful person mum but I wasn't parenting my child the way that I wanted I wasn't being the person that I wanted to be so from that moment on I made two decisions so the first was that I was going to be the person that I wanted to be I was going to follow my own dreams and the second thing was that I wanted to go to bed every single night and like myself as a person, like the way that I'd lived my life that day and the way that I treated people that day, knowing that I was following my dreams and living my life the way that I wanted, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to just really take some time. I want you to get quiet, okay? Because we live in such a busy, noisy world. I want you to get quiet and I want you to just think about 
you know, how do you want to live your life as a person? I'm not talking about what adventures you want to go on or, you know, what success you want to achieve in your business or what, I'm not talking about those things. I mean, how would you like other people to see you? One of the, one of the most powerful things that um, I remember doing during my law of attraction training was the question where they said, you know, imagine that it's your funeral. Now I know that's a horrible horrible thing to think about, but imagine it's your funeral and people are talking about you. What would you like them to be saying about you? How would you like them to feel about you? You know, would you like them to be saying? That person, oh, they always made me laugh. Or oh, they were always so kind to me. They always had a smile for me. They always had time for me. You know, they, they were such a generous person. They were such a good mum. They were so, such a loving family. You know, think about what it is that's important to you. And just really try to work out who you really want to be okay and again you can split that off into different areas but have that core that core knowing at the center of you like your core values who do you want to be write it down when you get to who you want to be write down those key things I want to be a nice person. I want to always be respectful of other people. I want to treat people kindly. I want to be a really good mum. I want to be a really good role model for my son. I want to be a loving part of my extended family. All of those things, whatever, it doesn't matter what I've just said. It has to be what's important to you personally, okay? So you're probably not going to get there today. You're probably not going to even get clear on who you want to be today. Just keep working on this, okay? And if you catch yourself doing something that is just completely against the person that you want to be just accept it just say okay that's where I am right now the person that I want to be is this person and that's what I'm aiming for that's where I'm going that's where I'm that's what I'm going to focus on being okay so I know this video has been a little bit different today but it's something that I really really want you to focus on because I can tell you this, when you know who you want to be, when you work on that on a daily basis, anything that is outside of that, first of all, it will stop, it will stop showing up in your life um, so that you don't have those opportunities to be a different kind of person that you don't want to be. The universe will sort of line itself up so that you you're more and more able to be the person that you want to be. Your subconscious mind will work for you so that, but you have to keep reprogramming it because if you've been programmed for one person and you want to be someone different, then you have to just keep reprogramming your um, subconscious mind so that it naturally brings forward the things that are a match for you being the person that you want to be, okay? So let me know in the comments below what you thought about today's video. Share anything that's come up with, you know, any emotions that came up, any thoughts that came up, any questions that you have. Share them below in the comments below. I always reply to people and I love hearing from you. So give it a thumbs up if you found this helpful. And until next time, try and keep your vibrations super high. Focus on the things that you want to attract in your life. Focus on the things that you already have in your life that are wonderful. And just do the things that you enjoy in life as well. Because that, that will help you to be a match for the life that you want. I'll see you next time. Bye.